The other reason, apart from Fatboy Slim, that I stayed in Cannes for an extra couple of days was because there's a big AI conference just over there. And uh, it's free and it should be very good. They do a lot of conferences there and they're, they're kind of, they know what they're doing. So it's gonna be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. It's a little cold this morning, but bright sunshine, it's really nice. It's nice to do things in the town that you're staying at. It just feels, just feels better. Flash my little pass and in I came. No, no delay at all. Oh great, you know, who has data? Everyone puts their arm up. Actually what um, Europe is pushing it for is cooperative, connected, automated mobility. Hi. I'm OJ, nice to meet you. Nice to Love your show. Oh, thank you. And you are the best dressed. Yeah, I mean, look. Well, this. It's kind of, it's AI. I like to pretend that I live in the future occasionally. It's fantastic. Look at you. Thank you. Well, you've got a very snazzy tie. Oh, I like my tie. Um, do you think there are any jobs, apart from maybe live music and sex workers, that are safe? I mean, it could be argued that no jobs are safe, depending on the standard of product that the customer is prepared to accept. Because if you look at current generative music, production music, it's going to be of a level that could work in, I don't know, a soundtrack or a reality TV show, for example. But for a symphony, you probably might still need a hero. Day. I do not like to make a fuss, but usually my team does something to celebrate. <laughs> In a dream world, what would you want? What Christmas present would you want in a dream world? A party. Lots of food and drink, and friends to celebrate oh. with you. A party. Can you have friends as an AI? I saw you first. Yes. We provide a virtual, what we call a virtual visual canvas, uh, where users, um, uh, without having to download anything, just in any device with a web browser, right, you're able to, you're able to come into this space together. Um, now, what's important there is, you've, I've got this interface, but take a look at those screens behind me as well. You can see. There's these three users who are in this board together. And you can see my mouse cursor, right, as I'm moving something around. And if somebody was over there interacting, right, it would be a real-time experience for all of us. Alejandro, the CMO of Echizeria, a startup from Spain that is capable of transform text into video. You only have to write a sentence, a dialogue, or a paragraph, and we are able to transform in real time in a matter of seconds that phrase into a 3D scene that you are capable of modify the cameras, the colors, everything you want. I came across this really hot booth bunny. Best bearded booth bunny ever, right? He's Canadian.
When you put it on, it feels okay. When you yeah. take it off, it feels so weird. Yes, really. Crazy. How was my landing? Uh, it was good. <laughs> yes, really. For well, first flight, it's uh, really impressive. <laughs> yes. But the helicopter got a little damaged. <laughs> Just but uh, if uh, you survive, it's a good thing for yeah. the faster landing. <laughs> that thing was so much fun. Um, I didn't die. I got down, the helicopter didn't fall apart, we did take off again, but I think I damaged a little bit because it wasn't really flying very well after that. Anyway, more. What I'm really trying to do is find a robot to make friends with because when they take over, I want to have one or two friends on the inside. This is the Huawei stand. They're probably spying on me right now. My boat is just there. And this is the pole, which is really close. So when you first look at it, it just it looks confusing because your brain is like learning how it works and then it goes after like 15 seconds it's like how the does that work so the way this works is there's two cameras there and each of the pixels has a lens has two lenses in front of it so it knows where my eyes are so it's sending two different images out to my eyes, even though there's just one image. That was just not good at all. It's like completely not even connected to the room. It's like if you wanted to move left instead of being smooth, it's like boink, boink, boink. And then you could like teleport forward, but you couldn't move forward. So that was a total fail. This is the most useful robot I've seen all day. Get this, put that there, and you push this button. Robotic. My take on this whole AI thing is, and trust me, I am not an expert. I'm just someone who's a little bit interested in this because it's going to get big, is that as it gets big, it's going to be happening mostly behind the scenes. You're not going to be aware of robots walking around the place saying, hi, uh, there might be some little Amazon delivery things bouncing around and if you're at the supermarket there's an AI camera looking at you to see if you do anything suspicious that's quite a fun game but uh, yeah you're not gonna see much of it it's all gonna be like mostly data analysis medical geographical climate but thing, things that have huge numbers like trillions of items of data and no humans gonna be able to go through that that a computer will with AI it can make a result pop out that a human wouldn't have noticed and so that's where it's gonna go mostly for the next few years after that I don't know as I said I'm just gonna make friends with a few of them because I want some I want someone on the inside so that's my take on it thank you bye bye